I'm Dr. Thomas Brandeiski. I'm an otolaryngologist practicing in Brick, New Jersey. I'm on staff at Ocean Medical Center. We have offices, uh, my partners and I have offices here in, uh, in Brick and Jackson. I have a certificate of added qualification in otolaryngic allergy. That certificate is available through the um, American Osteopathic Association and it's a unique certificate in the state. An allergy is a, uh, an immune mediated uh, inflammatory response and in terms of your nose and throat it will cause symptoms of the eyes, ears, nose and throat such as itching and sneezing, fullness of the ears, uh, recurrent sinusitis, uh, vocal and breathing problems such as asthma. The general population is affected 20 to 22 percent by allergy. Uh, a subgroup, the asthmatic patient, 80 percent of those people are suffering with allergy and, and perhaps don't even know it. We work primarily with inhalant allergens that aggravate the uh, respiratory tract, including the sinuses uh, and lungs, uh, as well as the middle ear. A second category would be uh, food allergy. Ingested materials can cause irritation. A uh, great example would be children who are allergic to uh, milk and eggs may have asthma. If patients have breakthrough symptoms, we're going to consider doing an allergy test to help them identify what they're allergic to and to help them stay away from those uh, allergens. Uh, the patients who need to consider immunotherapy are those who have extreme symptoms that are not controlled. If they are having problems with chronic cough and asthma that's out of control, despite using the medications that their pulmonologist or internist or family physician have prescribed, they may need to try to control their asthma with immunotherapy. Uh, that is on a weekly schedule, eventually expanding to every three or four weeks, depending on how the patient uh, responds. Additionally, sublingual immunotherapy or taking allergy drops uh, could be very useful for patients. Patients who have a hard time getting to the doctor's office for regular immunotherapy can dose themselves at home with drops under the tongue. The major advantage of that treatment is a lower risk of anaphylactic reaction. Therefore, it's the only immunotherapy that is safe for home administration.